Wow, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Glow in the dark printed rope. Huh. Moin Moin YouTube! Those of you that have been following my channel know that I prefer 100% 3D printed projects over hybridized projects. The reason for that is quite simple. When I got my first 3D printer, there weren't a whole lot of complex projects on the Thingiverse that I could print and assemble because it required a whole lot of specialized tools and I didn't want to get them just so I could do those projects. Also, to me, 3D printing has always been about, about materializing something from the cyberspace into reality and if you have to print something and then spend hours assembling it, it kind of beats the purpose there to me at least personally. Now some of you might remember this thing right here from a previous video, my 99.8% um, 3D printed crossbow, 99.8% because the string is the last piece that is not printed. And this is what we're going to tackle in this video. Now to kick off this project, I did what I always do. Uh, instead of doing the right thing, which is research, I really just developed a theory of how to do this and, well, got into doing. Okay, so what I've done is I've attached a bowline knot to the string. Um, here in the end, it's just closed off with some, God, what is it called in English? This shrink tube that you put on cables. Um, and I am going to hook my uh, scale here that I used to weigh in my crossbows and so on onto this hook and see how far I can pull it until it rips. Bit tightly here. And let's see what we get. God damn it! Ah. And the magic number is 9.5 kilograms. Not too bad. Well, I felt like I was off to a good start. Uh, 10 kilograms wasn't too bad. However, this was still much too weak. I need to be stronger. And on top of that, it just took forever to create the rope manual like that. I needed something that is a whole lot more efficient. So first I tried braiding. <laughs> Which was even closer to driving me insane uh, than my first attempt, mostly because the strands kept get tangled and kept gripping. So it was just a really poor solution. Um, the next thing I tried was to get the strands on a spool in order to make it a bit more manageable and then retry braiding. Fuck! But the string kept ripping there as well, so new strategy, traditional rope spinning. Traditional rope making requires two parts, a gearbox with a crank and four spinning hooks and a rotating hook to attach the loose ends to. The strands are stretched between the hooks and by spinning the crank you twist the strands into a rope. Luckily I didn't have to design this mechanism myself because Techcommy over on the Thingiverse already did a perfect job at it and he allowed me to use it. So shout out to Techcommy for that, link in the description down below. Okay, so here's the basic setup. Back here we have the gearbox with the printed strings attached to it that all run down here until they all come together at this point right here. A few moments later. Okay. 
Now things were starting to look pretty bad at that point. Four attempts failed, three of them on camera. Um, the strands just kept on ripping, so I did the one thing that I usually dread doing. I did a bit of math and regression and figure out that the strands that we are using out there were only able to take about one and a half kilograms of force on average before breaking, which really isn't all that much considering how much fiddling we did with them. So using the data I gathered, I created this strand right here, uh, which is able to take about three kilograms of force and consists of four um, lines, traces, whatever, uh, from the printer nozzle and um, started again with that material. As you can see, this looks pretty promising. Huh. All right. Um, we have a result and this was actually now not that hard to make. Uh, this is probably maybe the first 3D printed rope ever. I don't know. Haven't done too much of research about that, but, um, or a string. I don't know at which point a technical becomes a rope, but um, it, you know, it's flexible. You can twist it, bend it, you can, well, can't, well, you can do with it whatever you expect from a rope or string. Let's just call it a rope for the sake of the story. And um, it wasn't too hard to make, really. Um, now, let's do some weight testing with it or to see how much force it can take until it rips. Um, given that it consists of eight, uh, eight fibers strands, I don't know, uh, you know, going back and forth, and each of them can take about three kilograms on average, I'm suspecting this to take at least 24 kilograms if you know, the, the processing didn't give it some more power as it traditionally does when producing something like that. Let's check it out. That was much too soon. Shit. Okay, it ripped much sooner than what it was supposed to. What's obvious though is that it ripped where the strings were twisted very tightly. Um, further down here, they're not twisted quite as tightly, so I will give it another try. Again, 10 kilos. Shit. <sighs> okay. Let's try again, this time with 16 strands. So basically going through it twice with two strings. Wow, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Glow in the dark printed rope. Huh. Sixteen kilograms. Now that's what I'm calling progress. Nice. Now here's something weird. Whenever this thing rips, it rips at the edge of the knot. It doesn't rip somewhere in the middle. This makes me think that the knot is what's weakening this rope. Now when I think about this, maybe I have to look at this more as it is a wire and not as much as it is a rope because you know also wires you don't close them off by making a knot in it you close them off by putting pressure on it or putting some sort of mechanism at the end of it so let's do some tests by trying to loop this around the scale without putting a knot in it and see if we can put more apply more force to it I have a good feeling about this one let's see Yeah. 
17, 19, 20. Whoa. Yeah, that's much stronger. Holy crap. Um, okay. I'm kind of worried about my door. Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. Oh. What the hell? Okay, uh, that took a whole lot more force than I expected. Well, um, crazy. So I guess what I created isn't a three D printed rope. It's much more a three D printed wire. I'm pretty sure that there's a whole bunch of science to it, which I'm not going to even try figuring out. Anyway, let's print one more. Uh, again, the version that only has eight strands instead of 16 and see how much force that one can take and finish up this video. Final test, uh, 3D printed wire with eight strands. Let's go, let's see how far we can push this. Ten kilos, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think almost 20. Yay! That was pretty good. <laughs> okay, I think we can call that a result. 3D printed wire, who would have thought about that? Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be using that in a future project. I already know very much which one that's going to be. Um, so subscribe to the channel to make sure that you don't miss it. Leave a comment down below. I'm very happy about each and every last one of them. I read them all. Probably check out one of my videos and uh, hopefully see you in the future. Tschüss.